love with the Poverty Lane Brothers team. Today we're bringing up to a five-bedroom penthouse unit on a single floor loading, over 2,000 square feet. The owner spent over $100,000 in their renovation just seven years ago. I think you don't want to miss this one, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go check it out. the highest floor of the condo, the penthouse of Topiary. Now let's talk about the project. Now this is an executive condominium that TOP'd in 2016. Its lease started in 2012, so we still have a very healthy 88 years left as of 2023. Now this condo here does have a total of 700 units and it comprises of your three bedroom all the way to the five bedroom type. But for the five bedroom type, lo and behold, there are only 14 five bedroom units in the entire condo that only makes 2% of the entire unit mix here. So when I say it's rare, I think you understand where that's coming from. Now the condo here does come with full condo facilities. So if that's something you're looking out for, especially if you're a big family, this one does come with the tennis court, the gym, the barbecue pits, as well as a lovely pool and the kids' playground as well. So where exactly is the Topiary located? We're in District 28 in the Yochukang and Salita area. You'll see that we're very nicely surrounded by HDBs as well as a landed cluster, which gives you really additional benefits next time when you're talking about your exit, which we'll also talk about later. We're just an 8 minutes walk to the nearest shopping centre at Greenwich V and 10 minutes walk to Salita Mall with supermarket and food options. The added benefit of being surrounded in an HDB estate is also the multiple coffee shops and accessible supermarkets, a 10 minutes walk away. City is also just a 5 minutes away which makes this a convenient location to get around by. And if you're wondering how your kids are going to get around to school, well, you're just a 10 minutes walk to Fernville LRT station and that's going to get you to the rest of the MRT stations and around Singapore as well. And in terms of your schools, you have two in your area. You have Fernville Primary School as well as Singkang Green Primary School. Now enough facts, now let's go straight into the home interior. I think it's worth mentioning that the owner spent over $100,000 in their renovation just seven years ago to add up all the carpentry that you're seeing. Let's talk about the light switches here, which you will see throughout the entire house. I do like how they have already changed the light switches and have them all already labeled for each individual switch light in the home. We'll start here at the dry kitchen because this is where a lot of work has been done. In the original floor plan, you will see that this is actually all concrete walls. So what they did was to change this into glass instead. Now this is a very special addition to their home that they did which we can turn off the light, let me show it to you. Let's turn off the light. So we can have the light turned off and you can see how the stone actually looks like. Now this stone here is called the Christian stone and this is a Germany engineered material that is stain and bacteria resistant and so you'll see it in their living and kitchen area as well as also in the bathroom and this dry kitchen does double up as extra dining space it also doubles up as extra storage. So come with me into the kitchen, your kitchen counter hood and hop all here with lots of cabinet space all around the entire kitchen. Your ovens and your microwave hidden towards the side. You also have your dedicated yard. So in your yard, you do have wash closet as well as a bomb shelter towards that side. Above me, you will see that the owner has already installed their Stegen drying rack. Let's come out and head into the living area. So the area here does accommodate for a really, really large seater sofa and also a really large TV set. And if you want, I think you could comfortably still upgrade to an even larger one. I do like how the space is already segregated for you to hide your messy items like your cables. You still have a lot of space to put all your little knickknacks as well as your books or your trophies like how do you have done. And the plus point of being at the top of the penthouse on the highest floor is that you will get this really nice, comfortable space for you to do your barbecues as well. So it does extend a little bit more towards this side but they're all usable space because what the owner has done is already at the glass awning above us and if you want you can also zip track the entire balcony as well to close up the space and extend out your living and dining area and our facing here is towards the north and south towards the back so we don't have any direct afternoon or west sun coming in towards us you can see that over there there are some construction going on and you might be wondering what's going on there now that's actually a BTO cluster that's building and fun fact good for you to know is that our plot ratio here is actually higher than the rest of the surrounding here. So you're not going to have your view blocked and you're going to have this facing and the view towards Malaysia. Now let's go back in and check out the dining area. 
Walking in this home is really comfortable because the owners have marble gummed the entire floor. I do like how they added more mirror features at the back there, their feature wall, which opens up the home even more and gives you a very nice separation from your living as well as your dining. So the dining area here, they've already accommodated for an eight-seater, which is really giving you a context of how large this space is. As you know, it is hard to find a five-bedroom of such a size in today's day and age. So at the beginning, when we did the introduction of the condo, I shared with you how there are only 14 five-bedroom type units here. Out of the 14, there are eight different floor plan types and they range between the size of 2013 all the way to 2464 square feet. Now, the largest difference that we're noticing between our floor plan type and the other units is that ours does come with a nice separation from our living and dining. Our bedrooms are all tucked towards one corner where the other bedroom types might come in a dumbbell fashion with some bedrooms towards the back of the living room or where the kitchen is. If you're the type that maybe enjoy hosting friends more, I think that this setup here is really good because then you have your quiet and your noisy zones here. It's also worth mentioning that out of the eight floor plan types, our floor plan type shares the exact same layout as the units with the landed premium facing as well. So now let's go check out the bedrooms. So come with me as we go check out the rooms. I do like that there are sliding doors here, which is coming in from the balcony towards that side and how they covered up the balcony to give this area a bit more of a usable space. You can see really nice crystal lights just above me and the owner was telling us how they got it from Italy. So there's a really nice feature. It looks like stars in the sky. So come with me as we check out the first common bedroom. Now this happens to be the smallest bedroom of all, so they did convert this bedroom into a study room. Part of their 100k renovation was to do up all the cabinets that you see right over here. If you do need this to turn into a bedroom all you need to do is remove this corner over here and it will comfortably fit you a single size bed. The room also comes with wardrobe so it's an easy fix for you if you want to convert this back into a proper bedroom. So right across from the first common bedroom we do have the common bath. So this is the one that will likely serve your guest as well as the bedroom towards that side over there. And what I love about all the bathrooms here in this development is that they all come with a window for natural ventilation. to the next common bedroom. For all the rooms in the home, the owners did already do up lots of carpentry which adds up to the renovation cost that we shared earlier. Part of the renovation is the study table that you see here and you're wondering where's the bed, right? Now the bed is right here behind me. It's a Murphy bed concept. So what they've done here is to make this a bit more flexible in terms of the usage in space. Now you can see that it's a really comfortable sized bed and there's still actually very comfortable walking space for the child to walk around. So if you don't need it, of course you can always put it up. And if you're wondering if this room can still fit a queen size bed, yes it will but you will need to do some works here, removing the carpentry towards this side. But otherwise, I think this is a really nice setup. So this bedroom gets to enjoy its own ensuite. It does come with a window for ventilation as well, and it is a really nice, comfortable shower area, sufficient countertop space, as well as cabinets at the bottom for you to put your knickknacks as well. Here we have another common bedroom. I think the setup is perfect. The Murphy bed here as well as the study table. So they all have their own comfortable study nooks in their home. This bedroom comes with its ensuite as well. Out of the five bedrooms that we have in the unit here, three of them will come with their own ensuite. Only the two bedrooms that you saw as a study as well as the other room will not come with its own ensuite. And now let me bring you to the last and final common bedroom, which is this room here. We also have a very comfortable bedroom size here with its own wardrobe and the own Murphy bed concept with its own study table. Now before we head into the Master bedroom, let's go check out and talk about the financials as well as do a market analysis of the area. Let's jump straight into our pricing analysis and take a look at the five bedroom that was recently launched in the area and that will be Park Greenwich. The bedrooms are sized between 1464 square feet with the penthouse at 1679 square feet. Now their transacted prices there are between 1.74 million to 1.9 million PSF of 1,002 to $1,300 range. Owners looking to sell will likely see themselves exiting another 150 to 250. This may likely bring the PSF to 1,450 to 1,550 range in eight years to come. This could mean the homes can come to the selling price of a 2.4 to 2.6 million in 8 years for a 1,464 square feet unit. But anyway, since those have been already fully sold, let's take a look at what's available in the market. Now we're going to use a filter of $3 million and something over 1,500 square feet. If you take a look at what's available in the market right now, there is one final 5 bedroom unit in North Gaia EC and that's towards Yishun. The 5 bedroom is going to range at about 1,593 square feet. The asking price for that is 
is at 2.139 million, bringing the PSF to $1,342. And the other new launch type jumps quite significantly, and you'll need to look at Grand Diamond. There are four bedroom there, over 1,937 square feet. They're asking prices at 4.3 million for a four bedroom unit. And the five bedroom at Pine Tree will go at about 4.315 million for a size of 1,733 square feet. And since this is a readily available unit, let's do a comparison with units that are currently available in the market right now. We've got unit sizes ranging from 1,006 to 1,800 for units at Treasure at Tebanese, Coco Pound, Bellwoods, as well as Sky Park Residences. And their asking prices are between 2.3 to 2.9 million dollars. So perhaps let's look a little bit closer to where we are in the Northeast region and explore the prices in this area here. Lush Acres was built in 2016. They have five bedroom units there sized at 1722 square feet with their asking at 2.38 million with a PSF of $1,387. In Waterwoods, a five bedroom size there at 1701 square feet is asking at 2.5 million, bringing the PSF to 1469. So sure, perhaps you don't want something below the 1800 square feet. So let's look beyond that and you will see that there are options available and oftentimes the kind of units you will see are penthouse units that will have a duplex format. So these product types, the patio units as well as the duplex penthouse units often mimic a landed home. So you will see luxurious roof terraces or patio spaces in the home and this is to give the feel of a landed home, whether in the sky or in the ground, but still enjoy common facilities in the condo. The large floor space makes it attractive to buyers like the duplex 5 bidder in River Sound Residences that TOP in 2015, with an asking of 2.99 million with a square footage of 2734 square feet. That brings the PSF to $1097. Another 5 bidder at River Sales, a 2016 project, an asking of 3 mil with a size of 2764 with a PSF of 1214. You'll notice that the PSF is lower, and that's because the bankers also do take into consideration the outdoor space that is often not included as usable space and that's why it does account for a slightly lower PSF. So if you're looking for something on a single loading because you have aging parents that maybe don't want to experience the stairs anymore but you still need all the bedrooms then you might want to consider this unit here. We are standing at 2013 square feet with an asking of 2.5 million and that brings our PSF to $1,241. Now you might be thinking, why the topiary? Is there any more upside for you if you're buying into it now? I think the condo and this particular unit does hit quite a few check boxes. The five bedroom format is really popular with families, especially with the ones with children who still want to enjoy facilities such as the tennis court or maybe the pool. And oftentimes you see them looking for four bedroom or five bedroom type units. The number of bedrooms here also make it very convenient for families who want to house their parents to come and stay with them as well because the lack of stairs does make it comfortable for them. So I would say this is the type of home that is future proof. Next, another plus point about buying a bigger home is that you have a larger store value. So for example, take a 1,500 square feet unit versus a 2,000 square feet unit and both condos appreciate at $200 PSF across three years. We're just being conservative here. Now for the 1,500 square feet unit, you will see an appreciation of 300 k while for the 2,000 square feet unit, you'll see an appreciation of 400 k So that's the kind of appreciation you will get. Next up, we're surrounded by HDBs in the area and it is a trend for families who are looking to upgrade to move closer to the area due to to comfort, familiarity and the kids' school. Not only this, we've got our landed neighbours across from us as well and we've noticed that families looking to get a smaller size or right size their home may find this an attractive option moving away from the stairs but still going for a large space. Finally, Dokeri is an EC that will fully privatise itself in three years' time. It will fully open its doors to foreign buyers as well and research has shown that buyers are actually making the bulk of the purchases of up to 60% in the OCR region. So that is something that we can look forward to in about three years time after your three years seller stamp duty. And finally, come and join me in the master bedroom here. This one does come with a walk-in wardrobe. And the walk-in wardrobe is where your bathroom is, so it's a very seamless transition in. You have four panels all together. If you want, you can explore with adding more towards that side. But come with me and let's check out this bathroom. If you see a bathroom with a bathtub, you can get a pretty good sense of how big the bathroom is. You have a standing shower. And over here, we're also seeing the Kristen stone. And you still have lots of storage at the back of the mirrors. And if you can take a look at the space, they did have space to accommodate for a massage chair. I do like how they soften this room even further by adding these cushioned headboards here. So that really helps to make this area even more cozy. They did add a TV console for this room so I do like how this is their own private zone. So for all the penthouse units, they do get to enjoy their own private balcony for the master bedroom. And sometimes it's nice to have a separated balcony from the main one in the living room. So this is a nice area that you have to yourself. joining me in 
this home tour today at this five bedroom unit at the Topiary. We have done the math for you, we have done the analysis. You will agree with me, this is a rare type of five bedroom you can find across the entire Singapore. This is 2013 square feet on an entire single floor plate. Over $100,000 worth of renovation already done. If you're keen to find out more, I'm happy to show you the place. My details are right down below. But before we go, don't forget to check us out on our other social media platforms. I'm Michaela from Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. For them to chill while they do their work. Let's try this whole thing again. It's really weird. It's really strange. I don't feel comfortable in front of the camera today. I don't feel for the for the. I don't know. I'm really. I'm. I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. Okay. Ours is one of the. Uh, Let's go. Let's go. Can we have the let's go?